join the students welcome back uh, today uh, we will study the final and concluding part uh, of the story deep water by william o douglas and uh, in our previous uh, class that we had uh, we had seen that uh, douglas uh, after um, hiring an uh, instructor that uh, he uh, did very hard work and uh, uh, he uh, took a thorough training of uh, swimming and uh, his uh, trainer his swimming coach had taught him everything means all the manner all the methods of uh, uh, swimming and uh, by his persistent effort by his hard work by his po positive uh, attitude by his strong determination that douglas was able to become a an expert swimmer and according to the um, instructor that uh, he had become a perfect swimmer he uh, will not face any problem while uh, he will be swimming but uh, was really uh, douglas had overcome uh, his fear of water so this part we will see uh, this um, thing we will see in today's part so let me share the story with you first on your screen now uh, see students here it is so one paragraph before we can take that does piece by piece he built a swimmer means instructor built him a swimmer and when that he had perfected each piece he put them together into an integrated whole and in april he said that uh, now you can swim dive off and swim the length of the pool crawl stroke means and then i did means he had given that uh, thorough training of uh, swimming and when he taught him everything after that he tried and uh, you know the narrator tried he practiced uh, when instructor told that now you can swim dived off and swim the length of the pool crawl stroke i did narrator said that he did means he uh, crossed the pool the instructor was finished and now instructor was quite uh confident that uh, uh, whatever training he had to give he had given now he has become a perfect swimmer now narrator has become a perfect uh, swimmer but i was not finished now from here we have to start today that uh, but the narrator william o douglas was not so confident that uh, he had completely uh, conquered his fear of water so uh, but i was not finished means still he was thinking that some he had little doubt that uh, still he had not uh, overcome his fear of water completely so i still wondered if i would be terror stricken when i was alone in the pool he he still was uh, thinking that uh, when he will be alone in the uh in the pool uh i would be terror stricken uh means uh, whether uh, he will feel some terror still i tried it and then that the narrator says that he tried he tried it and i swam the length up and down he swam across the pool once again and tiny vestiges of the old terror would return tiny vestiges you know that uh, uh, little uh, that uh, uh, fear remaining means vestige uh, remaining uh, fear of the old terror uh, little uh, terror of uh, little fear of old, old terror would return 
you know the tiny vestiges little uh, sign of uh, actually vestiges means that sign a little sign of old terror uh, return means he felt while uh, he was in the middle of the pool that he felt uh, a little fear but now i would frown and say that say to that terror trying to scare me now that but since it was a little sign left tiny sign left of the terror but he was uh, uh, confident still uh, and uh, he could frown he could show his anger and say to that terror even that he had challenged that terror that was the matter of confidence that what kind of confidence that he had uh, got after getting the entire training of swimming uh, on the basis of that he challenged the training to uh, trying to scare me he challenged to the uh, terror that are you trying to scare me well here is to you now look now you can see that uh, i am going to cross the pool once again and off out go for another length of the pool and in this way that uh, when he realized that still there is a symbol there is a little sign of uh, terror left in him then he challenged to the terror instead of terrified that he challenged to the terror that is the confidence that he got after getting the training of swimming and of out go for and then he swam across that another length of the uh, pool and this went on until july but i was still not satisfied and this went on until means he he kept on practicing even uh, after his training when instructor told that his job is over he had taught him everything he has become perfect swimmer but still narrator was not william douglas was not satisfied he kept on uh, um, practicing for swimming that he did not want to uh, leave any uh, stone unturned he wanted to overcome his fear of water completely but i was still not satisfied that's why he said that uh, still he was not satisfied and i was not sure that all the terror had left means still that he had some doubt that still some terror some fear of water still left in him so i went to lake wentworth in new hampshire now remember students and after that he decided to uh, check his confidence he decided to uh, go to the lake wentworth in new hampshire which was Uh, which was there in new hampshire and dived off a dock dock that is uh, an enclosure uh, where uh, ships are loaded are unloaded that is called dock and he dived off the dock at the tricks island there was an island tricks island and the dock was there and uh, from there that he dived off and swam 2 miles across the lake to stamp act island and there was nearby another after just in the distance of 2 uh, miles there was another uh, island stamp act island so from the dock at triggs island he swam 2 miles and he reached to the uh stamp act island and i swam the crawl i swam the uh, crawl breast stroke side stroke and back stroke means these are the crawl stroke breast stroke side stroke and back stroke all these are the uh you know methods methods of swimming all these are the methods of swimming so he tried all the met- methods which he had learned from his uh, trainer 
and uh, only once did the terror return and then that he felt only once the terror the fear of water when he was in the middle of the water middle of the lake when i was in the middle of the lake i put my face under and saw nothing but bottomless water but he was also very confident since that he had got uh, a thorough training so when he felt a little fear uh, in the middle of the lake then he put his face under the water and then he saw nothing and he swam across the pool the old sensation returned in miniature miniature means in small scale the old sensation means old uh, terror the old sensation returned in miniature that still he felt uh, you know the terror in a small scale in miniature i laughed and said well mr terror what do you think you can do to me and once again he challenged to the terror that uh, personifying the terror he challenged to the terror that what do you uh, think you can do to me now he challenged to the terror that now you can't do anything means uh, you you can't scare me and it fled and i swam on then he got the confidence confidence and then he swam across the pool once again and the terror fled away the terror uh, has been eliminated removed from him so in this way after doing a very hard work persistent efforts uh, a regular practice and strong determination with a strong will power he was able to overcome on his fear of water but still he had overcome completely let us see and then yet i had the residual doubts residual means still that some doubts were remaining still means still here when he uh, you know um, um, Uh, swam across the lake wentworth remember students two uh, two uh, lakes have been mentioned here one is that this one uh, lake wentworth in new hampshire and another one is this warm lake so remember that still when he uh, uh, swam across the wentworth uh, then uh, do you think that he had uh, uh, completely overcome on his fear of water or still some doubt left so th because this was the this was a question that which had been asked in board examination that's why i am mentioning this that this remember this two wentworth this two lakes wentworth in hampshire and then warm lake let us see that what happened still it said he says that after you know crossing uh, you know uh, swimming across the wentworth still that he had some doubt that still he had means yet i had residual doubts still he had some doubt that he was uh, not able to overcome uh, his fear of water entirely so at my first opportunity i hurried west and went up to the titan to uh conrod meadows meadows means that is a pasture green land grassland so in order to clear his doubts uh he uh went to the west went up to the titan titan that is a you know a creek and uh, from there to conrod meadows there was a meadows grassland pasture he reached there and up the conrad creek trails to mid uh, glacier and camped in the high meadow and it was means high on the peak on the uh, creek so he camped means he set his camp there and uh, 
so he uh, camped in the high meadow by the side of warm lake and uh, just beside that there was a warm lake remember student this warm lake you know why he uh, which there uh, he set his tent near the warm lake because that is still some doubts some fear uh, had uh, remain in him he had that doubt and the next morning i stripped means he took off he says that next morning he took off his clothes dived into the la lake and he dived from the uh, conrad meadows that he dived into the warm lake and swam across to the other shore and back and he swam across to the other shore uh, in the warm lake and came back and just as the uh, duke uh, capron duke capron means he was another uh, swimmer very famous uh, swimmer he used to cross the warm lake in that way and in the same way as duke capron uh, was uh, 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 swimming across the warm lake he also imitated that and used to do and he also that swam a uh, warm lake in that manner and i shouted with joy and after that he shouted with joy because he was quite excited when he crossed when he swam across the warm lake that he was quite excited and he shouted with joy and gilbert peak means that peak was gilbert peak was there it returned the echo and he heard his own uh, echo returned by the gilbert peak i had conquered my fear of water and now here students you can say that he was you know that completely conquered his fear of water completely overcome his fear of water when there can be a question means that that question was asked once in board examination that's how that he was overcome on his fear of water when not only means he practiced that uh, he um, uh, swam across the uh, Uh, lake uh, wentworth in hampshire but completely he was uh, able to overcome his fear of water when he swam across the warm lake so remember student this is important one now let us see that what happened next the experience had a deep meaning for me the experience had a deep this experience of a uh, Uh, experience had a deep meaning for me Experi experience means first of all he was terrified uh, by uh, the haunting fear by the um, by the fear of water which kept on hunting for so long and after that with his hard work with his strong determination with his positive attitude with his persistent efforts he was able to overcome his fear of water and that's why the author is saying that this experience had a deep meaning this experience had a deep meaning for me why because only he says that as only those who have known stark terror and conquered it can appreciate now remember student that it is important line that you should know uh uh please uh mark it so the experience had a deep meaning for me the douglas says and only and he further says that only uh, those who have known that stark terror that complete terror which he had experienced in the swimming pool when he was uh, thrown by the that bully boy uh, into the Uh, nine feet deep water, and he where he was almost died. So, so when those who have known, that's why he is saying that the kind of terror he felt that could only be understood by that person that who had conquered, who had known, who had experienced that stark terror, that complete uh, terror, and. after that he had conquered he had overcome on it 
then only that person can understand that what kind of you know terror he was uh, suffering from in death there is peace now remember students the message what he wants to convey through this uh, um, essay to the reader that is here he says that in death there is peace there is terror only in the fear of death in death there is peace there is terror on, only in the fear of death now please uh, mark it please underline it and uh, it has a deep meaning in death there is peace mean a person when a person dies that uh, there is no struggle uh, he does not need there is no fear because all the struggle that all the hard, hard work all the challenges everything is finished that's why he says that in death there is peace there is terror uh, there is terror only in the fear of death and the person why uh, terrified there is terror only in the fear of death we are terrified because we are afraid of death we don't want to die and uh, that's why that we are terrified means it is psychological it is in our mind the fear of death is only in our mind as roosevelt that the president roosevelt knew when he said and uh, the president roosevelt also approved uh, this point that the uh, fear any kind of fear is only psychological all we have to fear is fear itself now remember students this both this uh, statement is very important even a long answer type question of 120 to 150 words can be asked in uh, on the basis of any one of this statement so that's why when if you will have to state any one of this statement is given and you will have to give the answer in 120 to 150 words then you will have to elaborate it and how to elaborate by giving that uh, by giving the reference of the story that how the narrator william o douglas had experienced the um, terror the fear and how he wanted to overcome his fear of uh, water and that what efforts he did means all these things and finally how he was able to overcome uh, his uh, fear of water uh, completely by his hard work by uh, persistent efforts by strong will power strong determination all these things you will have to uh, mention in your answer all we have to fear uh, all we have to fear is fear itself means uh, president roosevelt also approved his point that any kind of fear any kind of challenge in our life any kind of fear in our life is psychological and any one can overcome it overcome on it any any one can uh, conquer it by hard work by strong determination by persistent effort by positive attitude and all that so this is the lesson which he uh, william o douglas wants to convey to the reader and that's why he had written this ex, uh, this uh, uh, autobiographical uh, episode so because when further he says that because that i had experienced now he tells the reason also he says that because i had experienced both the sensation sensation of dying and the terror that fear of it can produce sensation of dying he had experienced while he was drowning into the ymc swimming pool and because of uh, uh, dying that uh, what kind of uh, terror it can produce because nobody wants to die and that uh, fear of it can produce fear of dying can produce and the will to live somehow grew in intensity but that he get the solution that why he was able to uh, to overcome 
his fear of water because the will to live the will to live is very strong somehow grew in intensity but because the will to live is more uh, intense than the sensation of dying and that's why that he was his will to live you know that uh, compelled him to overcome his fear of water and then he did such a hard work and uh, got got a um, training and he became uh, expert swimmer and finally was able to overcome his fear of water because will to live because he had a strong will to live he wanted to live his life with freedom he wanted to enjoy his life without any uh, obstacles and uh, because of the fear of water that his fishing trips he could not do canoeing uh, boating fishing all those things he could not means these are the pleasures of life he could not enjoy his freedom he couldn't couldn't enjoy the pleasures of his life and that's why that he decided to work very hard he decided to at any cost he has to overcome on his fear of water because it had spoiled his life he could not live his life with pleasure and happiness with freedom and uh, then that at last i felt released and the finally that when he uh, over uh, he conquered his fear of water uh, completely then he felt relaxed he felt released and he felt free to walk the trails and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear now he felt so much released and he felt so much free that he could do anything now nothing was impossible because he had overcome on his fear of water he had overcome that uh, um, he was able to overcome on any kind of fear he could beat any challenges any obstacles of his life that kind of confidence after overcoming his fear of water he had got and that's why that nothing was impossible now uh, for him he could climb on any of the trails on any of the mountain uh, peaks putting you know brushing aside his fear means he was no more terrified at all and he could enjoy his life without any uh, obstacles means freely now see students the these, these are the questions in 30 to 40 words you have to do and which are the important questions that i am telling you that why was douglas determined uh, to get over his fear of water because that this question this question has already been asked in board examination i think that two years back it was asked that why was douglas determined to get over uh, his fear of water because that it that the fear of water has spoiled his fishing trips he could not enjoy that boating canoeing uh, swimming fishing all these things and that's why he decided to overcome his fear of water like that means you have to write in your own in your own word that but main point is this how did the instructor build a swimmer out of douglas so whole one whole paragraph a big paragraph is given there that what kind of training his trainer his instructor had given uh, him and what kind of hard work he has that that all kind means that the process of training you can involve into it you can mention in the answer of this question now the third one how did douglas make sure that he conquered the old terror so here you can mention two things you can mention uh, both the things while once that he uh, uh, he swam across uh, two miles in the lake uh, went uh, wentworth but he uh made sure that he was completely overcome uh, conquered his uh, old terror his fear of water when he crossed uh, he swam across the 
warm leg so this in this way that you can complete this but remember you have to write in 30 to 40 words these are the keywords sometimes that answer is of one word but in order to get full marks remember it is very important in order to get full marks you will have to complete the word limit and utilize the maximum word limit i am telling it for your board examination in every question you can get full marks if you will write in that way now the understanding the text now here also that i can tell you that what are the important questions means how does uh, douglas make clear to the reader the sense of panic that gripped him as he almost drowned and describe the details that have made the description vivid means all that description when he was thrown by a browser by the uh, browser that uh, you know strong bully boy into the swimming pool then uh, he went down into the pool three times he tried very hard to come out of the water but that he could not and that it was just the swimming pool ymca swimming pool was just nine uh, feet deep but it seemed like 90 for him he felt paralyzed and all that means all the terror the sensation he had described that uh, sensation of terror that panic sense of panic while he was under water in the swimming pool while he was drowning in a very lively manner so important points you can select from there and you can mention and in the second part describe the details that have made the description vivid means all those descriptions you can uh, mm, all that uh, you can describe in this answer and uh, so here the second one that how did douglas overcome his fear of water how does how did douglas overcome his fear of water so uh, in order to give this answer that one complete paragraph is given that how that his trainer his swimming coach had given him training so the details of training that one complete paragraph you can get the answer of this question in that complete paragraph if you are able to write even though that will be sufficient for this answer so no, no need to discuss much the third one that why does douglas as an adult recount a childhood experience of terror and his conquering of it this is the important one this question is important one rather very imp most important out of this three and uh, recount his childhood experience because he wanted to give a lesson to the reader that by hard work by persistent efforts by strong will power we can overcome on any kind of uh, challenges obstacles of our life what larger meaning does he draw from this experience that you can describe the last two paragraph for the answer of this question but this one is the most important uh, question so the time is um, already over students so um, that's all uh, for today but uh, you uh, remember that those questions which i have told you that these are the important uh, questions must take as an important because definitely those questions are important for board examinations and you must practice it yourself in your own words because your own, uh, your own answer in your own words will be given your own uh, ideas uh, will be given you uh, wattage in board examinations that's all for today students thank you and have a good day